Let's take a look at my field day game plan. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So just like Winter Field Day, I will once again be utilizing the RV for Summer Field Day, although it will be in a bit of a different capacity. During Winter Field Day, everything is winterized, and I don't have things like running water on board. During Summer Field Day, I don't have to worry about that, so we'll have the tanks full and ready to go. We will also be utilizing the generator for the air conditioning. Even though I may not stay in here very much during the day on field day, it does give us a retreat that we can come to and get out of the heat. And it provides a cooling station should someone find themselves overheated during the day. So having the air conditioning available at field day is a good option. To power the radio gear in here, I will be utilizing the battery that's on board. That's a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And to keep that topped off, there's 290 watts of solar on the roof. So that should be more than enough to power even a 100 watt radio at full blast. Now I will be utilizing three different stations, if you will, during field day. The first one I've got over here, and I'm just kind of running a field trial right now to make sure that everything is working as it should, but I will be running an APRS Digipeter just like I have over the last couple of field days. Outside the RV, there will be the Pi Display setup that will be providing information to those who may stop by and want to check out that station. So things such as the uh, current weather report, I'm going to pull a current solar propagation report down. I may pull some of the weather maps that I can get over the air and put those on there uh, along with other things that I've already pre-populated like the schedule that we will kind of follow on field day. One of the things that I wanted to do this year, I'm just not able to quite figure out how I'm going to pull it off. The RV has a stereo system in it which has speakers on the outside as well as on the inside. Now, my original plan was to take the FT5 and Bluetooth it to the RV's radio, which has Bluetooth capability, and then be able to play NOAA weather radio on the speakers outside just for a little bit more information that you would be able to gather as you came up to the RV. Unfortunately, uh, the Bluetooth on the FT5 is just not playing nice, and I'm not able to send that audio over to the stereo via Bluetooth. So I may try to figure out something else uh, to where I can pipe that uh, NOAA weather radio to the outside, but it may just not quite come together for me this year. Now, some of the improvements I have made since Winterfell Day is I did shrink down that APRS Digipeter. It is now running headless on a Raspberry Pi Zero being driven by Direwolf. And all of that, so the APRS Digipeter and the Pi Display that's outside, can all be controlled right here from this one screen. Uh, also, in addition to that, I will have my primary radio here on the table with me. Now, I haven't quite made a final call yet as to whether I'll be using the 705 or the Yezu 857, so you'll have to check my after-action report to figure out which radio I uh, did choose at the last minute. But being able to see everything from right here is a big advantage to me. In addition to that, I've got uh, the contents of this laptop being mirrored to the TV up above. That's a 12 volt TV that hangs on the wall uh, and I'm just using an HDMI out from the laptop feeding that into the television. Speaking of that television, something else that it gives us is in case there's any inclement weather, there is an over the air antenna on top of the RV. So I would be able to pull in any local newscast that I would need to on the TV should we be faced with inclement weather on fill day. Now the way I'm able to tie all three of the stations together is using the Wi-Fi Ranger that's built in to the RV itself. So that provides me with a built-in network. I just connect everything wirelessly 
to the RV's Wi-Fi. Now, it doesn't have internet, but it just provides me a network. Uh, so I plug everything, or not plug in, but I connect everything to the Wi-Fi Ranger, and then I can get to all three stations from my primary station that sits here at the table. Now, one cool thing about having everything networked together, uh, the Digipeter is running on the Pi Zero over here. The laptop over here, I'm running Yak on it. So I'm able to, across the network, pull the information off of the Digipeter onto the laptop, which then that information is being mirrored to the TV up here behind me. So if someone does come into the RV, they can see the current APRS map right here. Then if I switch the display, obviously on the um, primary workstation here, let's say I jump over to the Pi display. Now again, you can see that Pi display information being uh, displayed up here on the TV as well as on the outside display being run by that third or second Raspberry Pi. So because everything is networked together, I can pull all of that information in to the primary station here and feed that information to the TV here in the RV. So now that you know a little bit about the setup that I'm going to be running, What's my actual game plan for field day? Well, that's going to look a little bit different this year. I want all of this to run as automated as possible. Now, certain things I'm not going to be able to automate. I'm going to have to pull things like solar uh, propagation reports and weather reports and maybe those uh, uh, weather maps. I'll have to pull those over the air, and that's going to require my interaction at the station. And I'll be able to then load that information onto the Pi display that's outside, and I can also mirror that on the TV in here. However, I really don't plan to make contacts this field day. Now, hang on a second. I know that may sound a bit crazy, but this field day, I want to be able to interact with others around me in uh, more of a capacity than I've done in the past. I know at least one, if not two people, have had trouble with their digital stations, and I have promised them on field day, we'll take that opportunity and try to resolve some of their issues and see if we can't get them up and on the air with applications like FT8 or JS8 Call or uh, Winlink. So I want to have the uh, ability and the time to interact with those that are attending field day and not just be stuck at my radio station all day. I get plenty of opportunities to go out and play radio and I know that my systems are working. That's why I do field trials like this right here today so that I know everything is going to work without any issues. So I'm just going to take field day at least for the better part of Saturday and try to help anyone that I can around me uh, maybe Elmer them a little bit and see if we can't get them up and running at their station, whether that's voice or digital. Now, if it's CW, they're going to have to call somebody else because I'm out when it comes to CW. Now, later in the evening, I will probably sit down at the radio and more than likely uh, pull up FT8 and work some FT8 contacts. But again, my goal is not to make points this field day or not to make contacts this field day. My whole goal for field day is to be helpful to someone else. What's your goal for this field day? Guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.